Earlier this year, we brought you the story of the professional cycling team defying the odds. Team Novo Nordisk, made up entirely of riders living with type 1 diabetes, is showing that diagnosis of the condition doesn't have to stand in the way of competing at the very top level. We caught up with the team at the recent Tour de Bus in Quebec, Canada, to learn more about the impact it's having off the road. I was diagnosed in 2001 and I was at that time an inline speed skater. At first it was a shock for me, I had no idea what is diabetes, what will it be for me in the future. It was hard in the beginning because you, you don't have any information about how it's going with high athletic sports. For many of the riders now donning the white jersey of Team Novo Nordisk, initial diagnosis sounded like the end of any potential sporting career. At one of the Irish training camps that I was attending, things started to go downhill. The medical team basically told me that my future professional cycling career was not possible anymore. Luckily for Stephen Clancy, although at the time aged just 19 and considered one of Ireland's brightest cycling prospects, he knew exactly who to turn to. I remember watching Team Novo Nordisk racing on the TV and they immediately inspired me to, uh, to continue, to, to get back to where I was. And it was within six months that I actually signed a pro deal with the, with the team and this is my third season since, racing professionally around the world. The path that's allowed Clancy to fulfil his potential as a cyclist is still relatively fresh. However, the growth since Team Novo Nordisk became the first all-diabetes squad in pro cycling in 2013 has been immeasurable. Team Ambassador Joe Eldridge has been involved since the very beginning. You know, when I started cycling, it was myself and Phil Sutherland. I, he was the only other person with diabetes that I knew racing. Now we have an, a team of over 100 athletes, so it's, it's grown immensely, um, and a lot of that is due to the fact that there's more information out there. It's easier to connect with people, and there's a team of athletes with diabetes who are, you know, representing it in a positive light and showing, you know, what's possible. Both those in and outside of the cycling world are taking note. A reach on social media that dwarfs even the majority of Pro Tour teams is just one way Team Novo Nordisk is spreading its message around the world. It also means it's reaching a young audience and those still coming to terms with their diagnosis. Aspiring cyclist Gabriel Drapos Goralski was told he had diabetes in March but has already set his sights on a pro career. It's a great opportunity to learn about how to manage uh, my diabetes and my uh, cycling. And also, it's, you know, it's a great team and I really would like to become a member of the team later on. With a victory and 25 top 10s already this season, Team Novo Nordisk are making steady progress towards their goal of a ride at the 2021 Tour de France. With this in mind, the focus for the likes of Simon Strobel is still on the bike. We have the same schedule like every other pro continental team in the world and we are fighting hard to get into the first position no matter if we got diabetes or not. Nobody cares in the field if you have diabetes, so we just fight for the best position and that's what we do day by day. To some of the peloton they may just be rivals, but to many around the world the riders of Team Novo Nordisk are rolling ambassadors for a new attitude to life with diabetes. You know, wherever you go in the world, there's, there's people with diabetes. And regardless of whether they're into bike racing or not, I think they're inspired by the team that we can achieve our dreams, you know, we show what may be possible with diabetes. And likewise, they can see, even if it's only their their, their day to day lives, they can, they can achieve their dreams and it won't hold them back. So I, I reckon that's the reason why we have such a big following, which is nice to see.